Kim, thank you. Right now we want to get you to our breaking news that we're following out of Warren. What started in Warren as an attempt to steal ATMs ended in a police chase. Local force Nick Monticelli is joining us live from one of the scenes there. Nick, they were pretty persistent. It's not very smart. Yeah, you know, it's I, I, don't, I don't want to say it's a funny story because it's not funny, but they're not the smartest. So they started at this value fresh marketplace in Warren, realized there were employees inside and then went to another location before being caught. This is the place, the Value Fresh Marketplace, where the smash and grabs or the smash and attempted grabs all started around 3.30 this morning. Four robbers or would-be robbers backed the minivan through the front doors here at the marketplace, but employees were inside at the time stocking the store and they were spooked off. So they took that minivan and sped off and then headed to this store, a liquor store not far down the road off Nine Mile here in Warren. Now at this place, they attempted to break into the ATM. They were unable to do that partially because they realized that the police department was on the way. The Warren cops showed up. They took off and a chase ensued. That chase ended near Eight Mile Road in Detroit. And during that chase, they were able to catch three of the four robbers. Here's video of one of them. Now they're all in custody, three of the four again. All of them will be facing charges again. They were trying to break into and steal ATMs from both different stores, but nothing was ever taken. So back out here, certainly not too bright breaking into a store when the employees are still around trying to get that ATM and then another one. Now at that second liquor store, the cops arrived as they were trying to break in and steal that ATM. So they got there just in time. Charges again pending. They won't be arraigned until probably tomorrow or Wednesday. It's not going to happen today. We're live here in Warren. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.